Hi guys, I hope you're all well. My name's Shalina and today I'm going to take you around the Regent Street and Oxford Street area in West London to have a look what the High Street has to offer in terms of spring coats and jackets. So let's get going. So starting in H&M, I tried on this shearling jacket. I really like this one, but I do have something very similar, so will not be buying this. It's $39.99 and I tried it on in a size small. I'd say it's very true to size. Um, I think this is a great versatile spring piece. I think it's got that warmth that you need at this time of year, especially if you wear a knit or a sweater underneath. I did have a sweater on underneath and I still found that there was enough space in the arms and the sleeve length was fine on me. I'm I'm five foot three for reference and I'm a size 10. The only thing I did notice on this jacket was that it seems to have the outline of button marks going down the placket. You can see it in the clip. I did check and it is on all of them. So I don't know if this is some sort of fault or the way they've packed it. They might have packed it so tight to ship it that it's indented on itself. So I, I do think that with an iron this may come out, but just so you're aware. I thought this trench was a really good all-rounder. I really like that it's not too much on the camel side. I feel like that would probably, this colour would probably go with more things in my wardrobe personally. I really liked the covered buckle on the belt and also on the sleeve. So really nice detailing on it. It's $39.99 and I tried it on in an extra small. I would usually go for a small but um, it looked quite um, oversized on the hanger so I took an extra small and I would buy an extra small. It had quite a lot of space in it lengthwise i was quite happy with it it didn't bother me that it fell quite low on me so if you're any taller than me then obviously it will be fall a little bit higher on you so um yeah but a really nice all-rounder so i tried this quilted jacket on in an extra small but i probably should have gone for a small it did look quite oversized on the hanger again but it sat really odd on my shoulders and i would have liked to see if a small sat a bit better on me it does stick out at the back which i quite like but that might not be for everyone i did try and get the look of that but it, as i turned it almost didn't show it very well so it's just got dyed to match buttons going down the placket and it's got pockets on the side quite a good light spring jacket it's still got that warmth to get you through spring and then you could pull it back out for autumn so definitely one that you could use across seasons another lovely trench coat um again i really like the color of this one not too much of a saturated camel more on the lighter side which i think looks a bit more luxe to be honest i did try this one on in an extra large because it was the only one on the shelf but i thought i'd chuck it on just to see how it looked again i really like the covered buckle and the buckle detailing on the sleeve also yeah a really lovely coat i'd say though size down um even though this was an extra large i'd probably go for an extra small in this one because i think h&m do tend to do their trenches quite oversized if you're looking for something a bit warmer this one was $49.99 it's 50% recycled polyester it's got two pockets on the front and it's a really nice off-white shade and I really like the drop shoulder detailing I think this could be a good one for spring obviously in the UK in spring it's still a little bit chilly and um, this could be one that you then again wear in autumn and even into winter just add a scarf for that extra warmth so moving next door into All Saints I really love All Saints. I think they do some really nice quality clothing um, and some real classic pieces in there as well. They have lovely leather jackets. If you're familiar with them, you'll know this, that that's probably one of the things they're known for. I would say, however, in All Saints to do try on different sizes because I feel like their sizes come up quite small and don't, don't worry too much about what size it says on the label. Just pick up something that, that fits you well. I really loved this jacket. It's a black denim jacket with silver studs on it i feel like things like studding and fringing never go out of style for me they're things that i would wear all the time so i wouldn't be opposed to getting this jacket it is 219 pounds so think of that price point what you will i did try it on in a size 14 as i said i think all saint sizes come up quite small so yeah do try it on if you like this one and see what size you feel comfortable with i would probably buy a size 14 i'd even want to try it in a size 
size 16 and see what that looks like but yeah i really love this one so this is the leather jacket that i talked about in my investment pieces video i've had my eye on this for a while now and i actually saw it on a secondhand website for 110 and i kicked myself that i didn't buy it <laughs> because it has actually sold but i will keep my eye out because i think i will just try and get this one second hand. It is £319. Here I've got on a size 14 and I did notice on the website that it only goes up to a size 14. However, I spoke to the sales assistant and they told me that they're actually making them in a size 16 as well. So they're waiting for those to come through. So I would like to try on a size 16 and see how that looked on me. So if you are after a size 16, then bear this in mind. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take to come through but just keep an eye out or check with your local store this was a lovely quilted jacket it was really lovely and lightweight but also very warming and i love the khaki against the light beige i think it looks really nice this one was 199 pounds and i tried it on in a size 10 i'd say it's pretty true to size i would probably get a size 10 i do like the attention to detailing so the binding around the end of the sleeve um yeah a really nice fit as well i was actually going to cut this bomber jacket out of the video because it wasn't for me i feel like it had a bit more of a masculine feel and i don't think it sort of aligned with my style personally but i um, decided to show you in case any of you like this one so this one is 239 pounds and i tried it on in a size 12 and i'd say it's pretty true to size i really loved this suede jacket i tried it on in a size 12 and think i would actually actually go for a size 12 if I was going to buy this. I think for me this is a kind of thing that I would look for secondhand. It is £339 for this one but yeah again with All Saints lovely detailing it's really been thought through and um, I think it's an absolutely lovely jacket that you'd probably have for years and years and years but you've got to be very careful in the rain and um, take really good care of it to get the longevity out of it. So moving on to end of the stories, I tried on this Czech trench coat. I think if you're looking for something a little bit different, then this could be one for you. And um, it had a really nice detailing on it. I tried it on in a size 10 and it's £135 and it felt really nice quality. I think it could be something that has longevity in your wardrobe. I, d I definitely think that checks are, you know, will always be here to stay. So not something you need to be too worried about investing in. So moving on to this quilted jacket, this one was £120. It's recycled polyamide and I tried it on in a size 10. I would say it's fairly true to size. I've got a sweater on underneath and it felt fairly comfortable. You'd have to probably try it on with a knit to see how you'd get on with that. But I definitely think it's one you could wear in spring, autumn and then into um, early winter as well. Um, just add a scarf and you're good to go. Here's a bit of fringing because I can't say no to a bit of fringe. I really Really like this coat I thought it was lovely it's 55% recycled wool it was really warm actually it's 175 pounds and I tried it on in a size small I would say it's fairly true to size I would get the size small again really nice detailing I love the buttons and it's got two pockets at the front a lovely all-rounder and I couldn't leave without trying on a plain trench coat this one was a more saturated camel than the ones I saw and tried on in H&M it's got that vent detailing on the back as well so lovely detailing on it lengthwise i thought it was really nice um it's 135 pounds and this one is 98 percent organic cotton i tried it on in a size 10 and i'd say it's fairly true to size um so yeah definitely stick to your size on these ones they're not as oversized as h&m So in Mango, I tried on this satin bomber jacket. It's long line and um, it's recycled polyester. It's $99.99 and I believe I tried it on in a medium. I was quite happy with a medium. I'd buy it in a medium. I think this kind of jacket is great for if you're going on a night out as well, but you want something, you know, fairly warming because it just has, I guess the satin gives it that more um, luxe look.
So if you wanted an alternative to a trench, you could try, try this one. It is $139.99 and I tried it on in a small and um, for me it was quite true to size. I think I would buy the small. Um, yeah, I thought this was really nice. It's water repellent as well, which is always a plus um, when you have a jacket, especially in England. Again, obviously it's got fringe on it, so I'm gonna try it on, but I really liked this denim jacket with fringing. It's $69.99 and I tried it on in a medium and I quite like this fit on me. The only thing I would say about this one is the buttons are quite tough to do up and undo. So hopefully that sort of loosens as you wear it, but I would probably wear this one open anyway, so that wouldn't be a major um, turn off for me. So Mango have a whole host of different kinds of trenches. So if you are looking for a trench coat, but you don't want to spend too much time looking around loads of different shops, then maybe just try Mango. They've got all different kinds of colors and different lengths, which is brilliant, um, especially for someone like me, who's only five foot three. I really liked this one though. Um, I thought it had really nice detailing on it. It's got some stitching on the pockets and lovely button detailing. It's $89.99 and I tried it on in a small. I would be interested to see how an extra a small look because it did feel a slightly um slightly bigger fit and this one's also water repellent so it's got that extra selling point so moving into Arquette, they had some really nice pieces actually. I tried on a few things after I tried on the coats and I did buy myself a navy jumper in here, which I just thought was, you know, something that I'd get loads of wear out of. I've got to say they had some really nice jumpers and the quality is lovely. So if you are looking for just a plain sweater, not too much fuss and minimal, but really good fabrics, then try Arquette. This puffer coat was lovely and I know this is a spring jacket video but I couldn't resist, I just had to try it on. I think this is probably more suited to winter because it was really, really warm. It's got what they're calling re-down in it, so it's they're using down that was in old products so they're recycling it as such. It's £190 which I actually thought was a, a good price point for this kind of coat. It had a lot of detailing on it and it was like I said super warm you can cinch it in at the waist um, which was a really nice detail I tried it on in size small and I'd say it is true to size I probably would either get a small or try a medium as well if I wanted to wear a knit underneath for winter but having said that I mean if you wanted to wear it at this time of year it's still cold in the UK so you know I'd probably be wearing that now loved the colour and I loved on these sleeves that it's got the extra elastic on it so it doesn't let the wind through and I really like this attention to detail. So if you're looking for a longer line quilted coat, then you might consider this one from Arquette. It's got a hood as well, which always comes in handy. I do love a hood. This one was £125 and I tried it on in a size small. I would say it's fairly true to size. Um, I would pick up the size small in this one and yeah, it was a nice fit. So this shearling pullover um, looked quite big on the hanger, so I picked it up in an extra small, but when I put it on, I struggled a little. <laughs> I'd probably go for a medium in this one because I'd want it to look a little bit more oversized. I wouldn't want it to look fitted, but I did like the detailing on this and I think it's quite a good one for if you're just popping out quickly or popping to the shops or just, you know, driving, then um, I think it's just a sort of really nice layering piece. You could even wear another coat over it in the winter when it's really cold. And this one was a 125 pounds. So finally, I tried on this trench coat. I think it's got really nice detailing on it. The only two things that put me off this one is, number one, the sleeve length was quite long on me. And the other thing was the buckle. It was covered in a brown, I believe it's faux, faux leather. And I wasn't so keen on this. I thought it looked quite stark against all the other detailing. I think I would have preferred a self fabric covered buckle as with some of the other um, trenches I've shown in this video. So um, this wasn't my favorite one actually, which is a shame because I think it had a lot going for it, but those were the only two things that spoiled it for me. This one was £175 and I tried it on in a size 10. I'd say it's true to size. 
So the final store I went to is Zara. Um, by the time I got there, it was quite crowded. I'd say a lot of the tourists are returning to London now. So yeah, I managed to pick out two coats. So this first one is a khaki longline coat. It's like a padded coat. I actually really liked this one, but I wasn't sure about the length on me. It literally came down to my ankles. Really nice detailing though. It's 99.99 and I tried it on in a small and um, I'd say it's fairly true to size. So this trench coat I tried on, I liked the length and I liked the colour. The only thing that put me off was the buttons, they did feel and look quite cheap and I also thought that the short belt made it feel a little bit less premium. This one was 99.99 and I tried it on in a small and I'd say it's fairly true to size. Um, if you did like this one you could probably either change the buttons yourself if you felt the same as me or you could get a tailor to change them out because I think if you're short like me and you're looking for a shorter length trench then this could be a nice option. So I want to thank you for watching guys I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I would love to have you here so please consider subscribing. Um, with that said I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!